Bonjour à tous. As a country, we're making progress in the fight against COVID-19. But we have to remember that the situation remains very serious. We're not out of the woods yet. As we move into the summer, we'll have to keep adjusting our routines. Our cities will have to adjust and change, and our approach will have to be tailored to each community. That means the rules and public health recommendations you're asked to follow may be different depending on where you live, and that can be confusing. But right across the country, one thing will stay the same. Everyone has a responsibility to themselves and to the people around them. So keep practicing physical distancing. This is how we protect ourselves, protect our loved ones, and protect the most vulnerable. Moving forward with reopening must happen gradually and carefully. And the right safeguards must be in place, including testing and contact tracing. This is key to keeping us safe and keeping the situation under control. What reopening means for you and for your family will be different for everyone. Just take the realities facing small business owners. Some are ready to open their doors as soon as they get the green light that it's safe to do so. But for many more, getting back on their feet will be a challenge. And one of the biggest concerns is paying rent. That's why we created the Canada Emergency Commercial Rent Assistance Program. This benefit will provide forgivable loans to landlords so that they can lower rent by 75% for small businesses hit hardest by COVID-19. It will also be available to non-profit and charitable organizations. As of 8 o'clock this morning, applications have now opened. If you're a landlord with up to 10 eligible tenants and you're located in the Atlantic, BC, Alberta or Quebec, you can apply today at cmhc.ca. For landlords in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Ontario and the territories who have up to 10 eligible tenants, tomorrow's your day to apply. Landlords with more than 10 tenants will be able to apply later this week. To landlords, please apply. And to business owners, make sure you're holding up your end of the bargain as well. The Canada Emergency Business Account can help you pay your rent on time. And the wage subsidy, which we're extending through the summer, can help you rehire your workers. We're all in this together, and together is how we're going to get through it. Depuis 8 heures ce matin, les propriétaires de logements peuvent présenter une demande sur le site schl.ca pour toucher le programme d'aide d'urgence du Canada pour le loyer commercial. Pour les propriétaires ayant jusqu'à 10 locataires admissibles situés au Québec, en Colombie-Britannique, en Alberta ou la, dans la région de l'Atlantique, vous pouvez faire votre demande dès aujourd'hui. Demain, ce sera le tour des propriétaires situés au Manitoba, en Saskatchewan, en Ontario et dans les territoires. Et les propriétaires ayant plus que 10 locataires pourront présenter leur demande plus tard cette semaine. Qu'il s'agisse de cette aide pour le loyer ou de la subvention salariale, on a mis en place plusieurs programmes pour les entreprises et on continue de trouver d'autres façons de les appuyer. Aujourd'hui, je peux vous annoncer qu'on lance une ligne téléphonique avec la Chambre de commerce du Canada pour vous aider à naviguer cette période incertaine. Les entrepreneurs et les petites entreprises vulnérables, incluant les organismes de bienfaisance et les organismes à but non lucratif, pourront obtenir l'aide d'un comptable ou d'un conseiller financier en appelant le service d'aide à la résilience des entreprises au 1-866-989-1080. Cette initiative s'adresse particulièrement aux organisations qui n'ont peut-être pas accès à des conseils financiers. Et pour vous enlever de la pression durant la saison des impôts, on repousse également la date limite pour produire certaines déclarations de revenus. Pour ceux qui devaient produire une déclaration de revenus des sociétés T2 ou une déclaration de, de revenus des fiducies T3 en juin, juillet ou août, vous aurez maintenant jusqu'au 1er septembre pour soumettre vos déclarations. Every day, in every part of the country, hardworking Canadians build prosperity and growth in their communities. To come out of this crisis, our country needs workers, people like you, more than ever. Our government knows that. And we know that you deserve to be treated fairly on the job. 
This is something that I spoke with the leader of the NDP, Jagmeet Singh, about yesterday. Nobody should have to choose between taking a day off work due to illness or being able to pay their bills. Just like nobody should have to choose between staying home with COVID-19 symptoms or being able to afford rent or groceries. That's why the government will continue discussions with the provinces without delay on ensuring that as we enter the recovery phase of the pandemic, every worker in Canada who needs it has access to 10 days of paid sick leave a year. And we'll also consider other mechanisms for the longer term to support workers with sick leave. Personne ne devrait avoir à choisir entre prendre un congé de maladie ou payer ses factures. Tout comme personne ne devrait avoir à choisir entre rester à la maison parce qu'il y a des symptômes de la COVID-19 ou pouvoir payer son loyer ou son épicerie. C'est pourquoi le gouvernement poursuit ses discussions avec les provinces pour faire en sorte que lorsqu'on va commencer la reprise, chaque personne ait 10 journées de congé de maladie payées par année. On va également examiner d'autres mécanismes à plus long terme pour appuyer les travailleurs qui ont besoin d'un congé de maladie. Later today, I will be back in Parliament as we continue moving forward with our plan to get Canadians the support they need. Whether you're an employer or an employee, we're working to make sure you can focus on what matters most. Getting back to work safely, adapting to new realities, and keeping yourself and others safe. You will drive our recovery, and as you do, we'll be in your corner every step of the way. Merci beaucoup.